Hi, this is Mike Henriksen from Strata Data in New York City. I'm here with Lucy from MemSQL. Lucy, how you doing? Good, thanks. So, can you tell me, uh, I've had quite a few interviews with MemSQL folks. What's new with you guys? What, what, what are you guys up to? So, we just recently announced the release of MemSQL 6, which is a major release that has improvements in three key points. The first is enhanced online operations to keep your mission critical things always available. And the second is improved query processing and query optimization. So for example, we have vectorized uh, like query processing now so that all of your queries will run a lot faster. And then third, we have uh, improved functionality in our extensibility. So this includes stored procedures, which allows you to uh, Im implement your own functions and models in MemSQL. So one of the things we're hearing a lot about in this, uh, this event at Strata Data, and I think we're hearing about it in the industry a lot, is machine learning. Can you tell me how MemSQL is active in machine learning and more particular about how you handle it with real-time data? Sure, so in machine learning, uh, we natively support vector operations such as dot product that will allow users to implement a lot of machine learning models. Uh, we also support scoring, and again, in extensibility, we support the ability for users to define their own machine learning models, such as k-means clustering in our special syntax. Excellent. So your latest work in machine learning is around what? I mean, real time, is that the rage right now for everyone? And so you guys have a solution to help people that are looking at doing machine learning in a real time environment? Yeah, so um, being able to implement custom models in MemSQL itself provides great ability to do machine learning models in real time on your real time data in MemSQL. We also have connectors to Spark so that users can leverage Spark's multitude of machine learning libraries on top of their MemSQL data. So if you think about the whole real-time marketplace and you think about machine learning, why would someone want to put all their eggs in the MemSQL basket? What, what is it you guys, what's your secret sauce that you do better than everyone? Um, we have very fast data loading and the ability to support many connections to the da database simultaneously. So one thing that people might do is use something like Spark with its plethora of machine learning models contributed by various members of the Spark community, which is very large because it's an open source project. So they might use Spark to generate machine learning models live with real-time streaming data, and they can, they can load that data into MemSQL, and then the data is available very quickly for business intelligence or clients that leverage MemSQL so that analysts can apply data science techniques. Do you see any particular industries that are moving more towards this real-time machine learning and basically partners of MemSQL. Do you see any industries moving quicker than other ones? Um, I'm not sure which industries are moving quicker than other ones, but a, a use case that I think really exemplifies machine learning in MemSQL is Uber. They, um, they have like machine learning models in the background writing writing the model results to MemSQL, and these are used to power things like surge pricing or drivers, for example, get live real-time push notifications for telling them when they should head to a hot area for more potential customers. So my, our, my most unfavorite thing about Uber, <laughs> <laughs> surge pricing, is a result of AI and machine learning? I guess so. No. Ma but maybe we can do an anti-surge pricing model. Maybe, but if you were a driver, you might think differently. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So if we sat down a year from now, what would you like to say you guys are doing differently in the market and, and better at MemSQL? So better 
I think the canonical way that we say we're better is in terms of speed because everything is in memory. But um, the industry is moving also more towards focus on analytical workloads where you have a ton of historical data. You're not necessarily trying to update specific rows very often. You just want to collect batch statistics like large counts or aggregates. So we have been evolving to support that very quickly too with our column column store databases that we store in disk, which is uh, attractive to customers because it's better for their wallets. They don't necessarily have to be able to store all of their data in memory, but it's still very fast because we store, for example, indices in memory that help us query it very quickly. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, Lucy, we look forward to that journey Thank with you. you. Thank you.